Now, I want to take a look at how we use the preposition in with words like place to describe things that are not physical um, buildings or physical locations. You remember previously we spoke about using in to describe um, being in a building or in a physical location like um, a house, a church or a prison. Now, this may be confusing for some people because we use uh, phrases like to be in place, to put something in place or for someone to be in place. But this is not describing a location. This is describing more of an idea about something being ready or prepared. So this phrase to be in place or to have something in place is really talking about how ready or prepared you are for a situation. So for example, new restrictions have been put in place. New restrictions have been put in place. The government or somebody has created a new restriction and they have put them in place. They have made you aware of them, so you should be ready for them. Yeah. We can also talk about being in the right place, which is the, helping us to describe the correct position, or in this case, a physical location. So are we in the right place to buy a ticket? Yeah. Are we in the right place to buy a ticket? Is this where I buy tickets for the train? For example, great question to be able to ask. Um, to put something in order, again, is helping us to describe the organization of something or how prepared something or somebody is. So he got all of his documents in order before applying. He got all of his documents in order before applying. So that's describing how prepared you are You've taken all these documents, you've filled them all in correctly, and you have everything in order. You are organised, you are prepared. Yeah. Um, okay, so, these in place and in order are describing these ideas, these metaphors, I suppose, of being prepared or ready for something. Um, we can talk about being in position for something. And generally, to be in position for something is describing, again, more of a physical location. Um, so for example, perhaps you're, perhaps you're running a race or it's a bike race. Maybe, you're, maybe you've been preparing for a marathon or an Ironman competition. And at the start, you have to get in position for the start. Get in position for the beginning of the race. Go to the position, the physical position, where the race starts. Yeah. Um, so in position can be used to describe the, the physical location. Um, but we can also talk about being um, in a position or in position um, to benefit from something. Um, I don't know, you might be trying to get in position for a promotion at work. So you are more likely to be sort of getting ready and prepared and organizing yourself and your habits so that you are in position when the promotion is kind of offered around, yeah? Okay, so these are just some ideas of how we use in to describe metaphoric. Um, metaphorical places or positions yeah there is one idiom which I want to share with you to be in the same boat with somebody um, is uh, it, it's a very common idiom we you know we use it all the time to talk about being in the same situation or uh, or having the same circumstances as somebody else now to be in the same boat as somebody um, is usually a very negative phrase. We don't tend to use this phrase when we are ready and prepared and organized for something that is positive. Usually this phrase is used when things go wrong. 
when our organization or our preparedness has failed and we find ourselves in a situation that is bad but we're not alone there are other people in the same situation or circumstances as us we can say we're we're all in the same boat now let me give you an example okay right now um, when I am filming this it is March of the year 2020 now I don't know when you are watching this but if you can remember back to March 2020 and I suppose the height of the coronavirus epidemic. Now, this is something that is affecting, I don't know, the world. As we speak now in March 2020, not every country has major problems, um, but you know, a lot of the countries have major problems. And I can use this phrase because I'm describing a negative situation that coronavirus or any virus or any epidemic is not a positive thing. Not for you and me, anyway. Yeah. So I can say that, look, you, me, and the rest of the world, we are all in the same boat. We are all experiencing the same circumstances, the same issues, the same problems right now. Yeah, so we're all in the same boat. So, so, so for, for now, that is a great phrase because we are literally all in the same boat with this coronavirus. Right, that's it for this video. So um, in the next video, we will look at some more ways we use in with some more expressions.